man. Oh man, hold on. Let me just do a let me just do one of these. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> man, my heart is racing. When you walked in, I nearly lost my shit, literally, in my pants. Right, yeah, you, you said that already. I mean, between your age and the blue suit and your demeanor and your haircut, you must get mistaken for a Fed all the time. Actually, never. Why, are you afraid of someone from the federal government coming in here? Or? <laughs> man, I've got a desk full of cocaine here, man. Yeah, I'm afraid of the Feds. I, I can well, see that. <laughs> I mean, what? I yeah. I, so what do you want? I'm a little confused, to be honest. Uh, According to these numbers, I've, I've run them a couple of times. If, if I work seven days a week and actually hit all the targets, uh -huh. I'd be lucky to clear $20,000 a year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'd be the luckiest fucking guy here to make 20 grand a year. That'd be great. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Who here makes 20 grand a year? No one. I, I'm sorry, I'm a little confused. Uh, hold on, hold on. Hey, Rico, you gotta wear a shirt in here, dude. I'm so sorry about this. Quite all right. Nobody wears shirts. It's like this is their little revolution. Like if they don't wear shirts, they somehow got one on me. Uh, <laughs> I'm wasting your fucking time, man. You should. You don't need this job. This is. You're obviously way too smart for this. So, <laughs> nice to meet you. I, I'm. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm totally lost now. Look, I... look. Most of my employees are mostly college kids, man, or ex-cons. Okay. They generally can't figure these numbers out, and even if they do, they don't have a lot of options because they're ex-cons or college kids. Right. So, so what about Tim? My daughter said that he was on track to make three hundred thousand dollars this year. I don't know Tim. I don't have a Tim here. Who the fuck's Tim? Oh, Jesus Christ.